What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get the weather HTML shortcut up and running on your device. Now this is a another shortcut in the easy weather um, lineup basically, similar to easy weather, similar to weather walls and all of these crazy shortcuts that I've been covering throughout the past couple months. Uh, so basically what this shortcut is going to allow you to do is to apply custom uh, CSS and HTML to the wallpaper of your device. It's kind of like having widgets on a jailbroken device. Um, I could basically code this widget that is on my jailbroken phone. I could code that same widget and it would apply to this device, which is not jailbroken. So no jailbreak required to use this. And uh, whether HTML is kind of like the pinnacle, I think, of customization. Uh, this is the most customizable of these shortcuts. And the reason is because you can code it in HTML and CSS. Uh, so it's really quite limitless on what you can come up with. Um, but with that, it's also very advanced in terms of customizing it and creating your own themes. Now I'm gonna focus very basic in this video and show you guys how you can install it and how to install uh, themes that other people have created because creating the themes themselves is pretty challenging but it's pretty simple to actually install the shortcut and use other people's themes. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And hopefully I don't mess up. But what we're gonna do is go into the Discord application. Discord, I'll leave the link for it in the description if you guys don't have it. Uh, Discord is a free app in the App Store and you're gonna wanna be a part of the iHeaven Discord as you guys can see here. Of course, I'll leave a link for this in the description as well. And this is where you're gonna find the shortcut downloads the theme downloads and also support if you guys encounter issues with this shortcut uh, be sure to ask uh, in i have in there as many great people they're willing to help and try to walk you through what the error could be and all that so if you guys need any support uh, i just recommend you know asking in i have and anybody and everybody will do their best to try and help you uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the weather html gallery so in this gallery, you can find the official downloads for the shortcut and also other themes that creators are making. As you can see, here is one by Moan for the lock screen. Here's another one. And they're pretty damn cool looking. Like I said, since this is kind of HTML based, uh, you can really do whatever you want. The sky is the limit. Uh, it is time consuming to create these. So in the future, I'm sure there will be a lot more added. Uh, this was just released yesterday, so more to come. I actually really like that lock screen setup. Looks really simple and clean. But as you can see, there are a few to download from. Now, if you come in here in the future, the best way to get to the official download for the shortcut is to swipe over and go to the pins. And there you go, there is the download. So just click on this post. And as you can see, here is the shortcuts we need and the files. So we're gonna download two shortcuts and files. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and download the first shortcut. I'm gonna go ahead and get shortcut. I do wanna mention that you'll probably wanna be on iOS 14.4 or newer to use this. Uh, so iOS 14.4 and up, this device is on 14.7 beta. So I'm gonna add this shortcut and we should have the shortcut just weather. So I'm gonna swipe back and I'm gonna download and install the next shortcut here, which is the actual weather HTML shortcut. Both shortcuts are required in order for this to work. So we'll go ahead and grab onto the grabber, swipe to the bottom, add the shortcut. And now we have both shortcuts. Now I like to just change the color of them just so I can distinguish them a little bit easier. So this one I'll make like a, a teal color and then the weather HTML, I'll make that one I guess a, a blue color, just so I can distinguish the differences between the two. Now we still need the files, so we're gonna hop back over to Discord and download the files that we need. So go ahead and click on download. Uh, this will take a minute, it's uh, about 250 megabytes in size. I think it's just a little bit smaller than that, but depending on your internet speed, um, this part might take longer, might be quicker, uh, but we'll wait for it to finish downloading here. And there we go. So I'm gonna click more, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my files. And the folder I'm gonna save it in, I'll show you the directory. So in your iCloud drive, 
save it to shortcuts, and then save it to iOS weather. If you have never used these shortcuts before, you might have to make the iOS weather folder. To do that, it's pretty simple. Just click the plus folder button there, but I already have it and it's already selected on it. So I'm gonna click on save and then I just save the files to that folder. Now we can exit out of Discord and we're gonna go into our files and I'm gonna unzip the, the files we just downloaded. Again, I'm gonna show you the directory. So iCloud Drive, shortcuts, iOS weather, and then we can click on the zip to unzip it. It's really simple, just click it. And now that it has unzipped, we can just delete the zip file. Now, one thing you guys should watch out for is make sure you have enough iCloud storage space in order to house these themes. Um, just make sure you have enough space because if you don't have enough space in your iCloud storage, you may encounter a lot of different issues and errors. So just verify that. So now that we have added the files and we have also um, installed the shortcuts, I'm just gonna show you, again, this is what my home screen looks like. So it's just kind of like a black wallpaper. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go into the shortcuts now. I'm gonna first run Just Weather, and we're gonna click on OK on all these pop-ups. And one bug that I hate on iOS 14.7 is the shortcuts stay grayed out, so I can't tell when it's finished. It's kind of a, fr a frustrating thing, but I'll just give it a second here. I think it. I think it's done. Hopefully, it's done. Okay, so now we're gonna run Weather HTML, and again, we're gonna get some pop-ups for this. We'll click on OK on all of these. Uh, clicking on these pop-ups is a one and done deal. Once you've done it once, you'll never have to do it again. And just remember that Weather HTML, uh, wait, Weather HTML, you can automate this to run like every hour if you want. So that way it's continuously updating your battery information or weather information or whatever you want. And there we go. I think that was the last pop-up. And as you can see, they stay grayed out. That's an annoying bug, but I think it's done. I think if we go to the home screen, we should have, well, maybe not yet, it's still running. There we go. And in real time, it changed. So now if I go ahead and click on edit here, and swipe over, as you can see, that is what Weather HTML has done to my background. I have a profile pic, I have some cool gradients, I have battery information at the bottom there, uh, what day it is, the date, the temperature, the condition. There's even a moving sun up here, so as the day goes on, the sun will go across the screen, or if it's nighttime and it's the moon, it slowly goes across your screen, it's super cool. And if we go to the lock screen, this is what our lock screen now looks like. A ton of crazy information um, on the lock screen. We got weather conditions. I believe we have an RSS feed going. We have a little welcome screen. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys how you can install a theme and switch the themes. So we're going to hop back in here. And we're going to go back into Discord and click done. And then within that same chat channel, so weather HTML gallery, if you swipe down here, as you can see, here are some different themes you can download and use. And I'm just gonna pick one out at random that I think looks cool. I think I'll do this one here. So this one by Moan. So basically I'm gonna download this theme and it's gonna apply this to the lock screen instead of the one I have. So to do that, we just click on the download link, which is a Dropbox link, it could be uh, it could be box, it could be Dropbox, it could be many different things, it doesn't really matter. We just need to know where to put these files. So I'm gonna click on more, and I'm gonna save to files, and we're gonna save this again, uh, iCloud Drive, shortcuts, iOS weather, O2 weather HTML. So save the, the theme to that folder. Click on save. Now we can exit out of Discord again, and we can hop back into our files. And then we are still in the same iOS weather, so we can go into O2 weather HTML, and there is WH LS Moan uh, D plus N. So we'll click on it to unzip it. Now we can delete the zip. I have a hair on my finger. <laughs> so we don't need that anymore. We'll just click on delete, and now we have the new theme. Now the way you change themes on weather HTML is you need to edit the JSON file for the theme. 
So if we click on this, it's pretty straightforward. So here is the lock screen theme and here is the home screen theme. And all you gotta change is the name. Now you will need a separate application to do this because it is a JSON file. You can use a free app called Codex. I like to use Text-tastic. That's just the one I like to use in, as my preference. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna change the name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna highlight this and I'm gonna do rename and I'm gonna leave it highlighted. I'm gonna copy the name and click done. And now I'm gonna click and hold on the JSON file. I'm gonna click share and I'm gonna open this with text-tastic. This is gonna allow me to edit the code. Now this is for the lock screen. So I'm gonna change this current lock screen theme by changing the name. And you have to be 100% precise with this. I like to put a space in here just so I have room to click. And that's not what we want it to do. There we go. So I got it in between the quotations there. So now I can paste the name in. There is a space at the end. So I didn't have to copy and paste it. I could just go in here and actually type it out. But you need to make sure that you type the name exactly to the folder name. If you misspell this or forget, you know, a character or don't put a space or don't put a capital letter, uh, it'll probably break and then you will get an error and it won't work. But as you can see, I do have the proper name in between the uh, quotations in there. So from here, all I got to do is go back into shortcuts and run the weather HTML. And it looks like I have that weird shortcuts bug going on on 14.7. So there we go, now we can see what it's doing. So let's let this go ahead and uh, do its thing and run. And now our lock screen theme should change from the way to Zion's to Moan's theme. And that is basically how you can change the themes. Uh, like I said, this is gonna be just the basic tutorial. I will be doing a more advanced tutorial in the future. And there you go, that looks pretty damn awesome actually. I like that theme a lot. So there you go, there's a bunch of information. Uh, the weather, you might have to change some information because uh, it looks like it didn't pick up on my current location. So I might have to change either the name or something like that. So this is a little bit more advanced. So if you consider yourself an advanced uh, user with these shortcuts, this is definitely the shortcut for you. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And of course, if you guys want to make edits to any of this stuff, you're going to do it literally right in the theme here. So um, there's a custom text HTML, and I think that's what that might be tied to, the weather in Stockholm or something. It might be tied to something in here. Like I said, this is more for advanced people, but that's the basics. That's how you can get it installed, and that's how you can switch themes. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.